wanna dance all the time, well, alright So that's exactly what we did We got my drink and took a hand and we went at it all night Baby told me she just wanna dance all the time, well, alright So that's exactly what we did We got my drink and took a hand and we went at it all night Shout out to everyone uh, Let me introduce you to last June Pretty face, no tattoos, she was mad cool Uh-huh, smart as hell and that ass too Roots go back to Baton Rouge And I was really digging the rat So I walk up like what I had to lose Luckily, I had moves Baby told me she just wanna dance All damn, well alright hey, hey. So that's exactly what we did But now my chicken took a hand And we went at it all night Food out of a crock pot? Mm -hmm. Was it always good? Mm -hmm. Did it take a long time? <laughs> Was it slow cooking for a long time? What? Like, my mom put some shit in the crock pot. Be like, you really gonna cook that enough for 12 hours? But when it came out, it was so good. And it was better than putting it on the stove. And it was better than the microwave. But it had been slow cooking and simmering for a long time. And that's how I feel about all of us. Musician or a singer or songwriter, you can go and you can really just let go of all the bullshit you hear in this business and just be the artist you were from day one, what, what got you to where you were. Real artists, take off our masks. It's a place of freedom, you know? And that's a big reason why I wanted to be a part, you know? Just being able to instill that oneness and that solidness in embodying yourself. All of this, all these people coming together, all this energy, all this light, it's bigger than us, it's bigger than music. The origins of the crock pot is basically me, Mel, Keenan, you know, pretty much the core of Lil Wayne's uh, background people. You know what I mean? We was just on the bus a lot, you know, chilling. We was just like, man, like nothing's going on in LA. Like that's just chill, you know, fun and uh, just not Hollywood. You know what I mean? And we just, you know, we're basically Mel. <laughs> decided she was gonna start it and we just been going ever since you know what I mean her combined with us the composers well we talked about it on the tour bus and just I just just being around them it just made me feel like damn people highlighting all these musicians and you know y'all out here working gigs but like I'm out here with all this talent but like nobody is aware nobody really know about us and when we have to work with other people we still don't get to be us or do us so we need to figure out something for ourselves. We didn't know who was going to come. We were in there last minute trying to get the furniture right and the rugs and like make sure everything felt right. We wanted candles. We didn't get a chance to get candles. We were like, oh my God, no candles. No Christmas lights. No Christmas lights. We had this all envisioned and we, we didn't get it. But it was all good because the, what was created was fucking epic. <laughs> Bobby Church. That's what I remember about that first one. Bobby Church, they uh, really made their mark on the crop. Work it to it Just to pay my way No food on the table Just all the fun is when it gets I distinctly remember the one at Hemingway's. <laughs> the first Hemingway's was Jump. That was the one. The first one at Hemingway's was like, that was epic. That's, that was classic.
vibe. It was like I've done, okay, the whole concept is different, but you know when we say we invite artists and we play in bands and stuff, like I've done plenty of that. But this, for sure, and I'm just saying because I'm a part of it, this ain't the same thing. Like, it felt like, you know, there was no egos involved and nothing like that, and it was just down to earth and cool, like we just having a jam session, but it felt like so professional. It felt like I was doing like on the big stage, man. I felt like, what was the next city? You know, where was we going next? You know what I'm saying? It was so, you know, and the food.